Hey guys, what's going on? Jason with Arc Junkies Podcast. Today we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing video on the Hatchet 60, a 60 amp plasma cutter. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so let's talk about this interface here for a second. We got a clean cut guide right here, which is awesome. A lot of machines don't really tell you what amps to set and what's consumables to put in there. So I want to see if I can cut some different types of materials. So I got some quarter inch steel, some three eighth steel, and some three eighths aluminum. I want to fire off a three eighths aluminum. That's always a difficult piece to cut. So for three eighths aluminum right here, it recommends a one millimeter tip, which is included. It says run anywhere from 40 to 50 amps. I'm going to go ahead and set it for 50 amps because I like running on the high side of things. Let's go ahead and see if it'll cut. That's a pretty clean cut for, uh, especially being on aluminum. Show wing. All right, so it cut pretty clean on aluminum, but I am a huge fan of steel, so I got some 3/8 steel plate here. I'm gonna see how it cuts on this, and then I'm gonna see if I can cut some holes and some quarter-inch plate. So for 3/8 steel, it tells me I need to switch over to a 0.9 millimeter nozzle so i'm going to go ahead and do just that the electrode's still fine still clean switch the tip just the tip lock it back in we're ready to cut and for 3 8 steel plate tells me i need to run somewhere between 30 to 40 amps like i said i like the high end so we'll just go ahead and switch it right there to 40 amps and get to cutting Three eight steel nice clean cut not too straight, but that's an operator issue. All right, so we know it'll cut through 3 8 It's pretty clean that way, but I wanna go ahead and punch some holes in some quarter inch plate. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. Like butter. All right, so this machine also runs off 110. Obviously, that's gonna limit you to the thickness of the material you can cut because on the 110 option, you can only go up to 30 amps, but that's still pretty decent for an at-home machine. Um, in addition to that, on 230, it'll cut up to three quarters of an inch. That's not too bad for a machine. You know, it's pretty portable, rather lightweight. It'd be a nice machine for the at-home garage. I'm Jason Becker with the Arc Junkies Podcast. Weld mean, weld green.